Welcome everyone back to another World Gas Reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is Naruto Shippuden, episode 498. What happened last time? Last time we were on the hunt for the most extravagant present, uh, only to realize that maybe an extravagant present isn't the way to go. Friendship is the most extravagant of presents. Exactly. And the one that Naruto and Hinata would enjoy most. Exactly. Indeed, and Aruka has been spending the last three months of his life in an Ichiraku ramen breakfast, Eating lunch, every and dinner. Meal plus snacks. Yeah. All there. Uh, also, uh, the owner is giving Naruto free ramen for life. Yeah. Which is very nice. excellent. Hope you guys leave a like and subscribe. Hope you enjoy the reaction. Hope you support the official release coming here. You have to say. Remember, this is a place for us to give our thoughts on Naruto, not a place for you to watch Naruto. This is a place where you can see what we have to say about Naruto. So yes, for the official release, check out Patreon to get a week ahead on this show and many others. You can get more high Q episodes, you can get a bunch of stuff. Yeah, hope you enjoy us all. Let's go. <laughs> Who was that? Orochimaru? It's Orochi. It's bugs everywhere. Sheena's like scouting out who's getting what. Stand bugs. He's a They're my friends. <laughs> He's like 19. <laughs> oh, I thought he, that was one of them. I didn't, until I counted all three, I was like, is he control, is he like controlling a child? Yeah. It's still just a bunch of bugs. Do you think you might want to become an insect user? there's no way that's gonna happen. A bug type trainer. Cause right, I want to surpass Naruto Uzumaki as a shinobi. I see. To do that, you'll have to become the Hokage then. That's what I say. You think so too? Well, in that case, I guess I'll become Hokage. I know someone else who wants to become the Hokage. I think you're the top contender. The reason is because no one says they'll be Hokage as an afterthought. Yeah, I know, right? See? Except he did. <laughs> he just he wants to surpass Naruto, and Hokage is just a step to that. <laughs> oh no, I never really gave much thought to it. You just wanted to become an insect user? <laughs> yes, that's right. So your dream came true. Just what did you have to do to make that happen? Because I want to take the first step toward mine as soon as I can. I have to say, the first step in doing that is to... We forgot our study uh, session! Better hurry up <coughs> and do your very best to surpass Naruto. Yeah, I'll make my dream come true just like you. <coughs> my dreams. Huh. She knows dreams. Shino becomes a teacher so that people actually notice him every day <laughs> when he walks in the class. Everyone pays attention to him. <laughs> <laughs> Cries behind his glasses, no one can see his tears. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. It's about time, Shino! Anyway, how did you- It seems that, but in all honesty, as far as I'm concerned, this truly is a serious mission. In terms of Team 8, this could be our final mission. This is Team 8's final mission? Yeah, I mean, once Hinata's married, I really doubt mm. that we're gonna get much chance to work together the way we mm. used to. Yes, that's true. Women are I'm useless after marriage. I intend on actually becoming the next Hokage. I can't keep relying on you all the time, Shino. <laughs> okay, keep Yes, we ought to keep it that way. Right, Gives Naruto poison for his wedding so that he dies <laughs> and keep I can be Hokage. <laughs> the question is, what are we going to get them for a gift? Hmm. So you need a gift for Hinata, huh? Do you have any idea what we could give them that would make them happy? Kakiba! Mm -hmm. A Kakiba and Kibamaru! Almost, Mirai. <laughs> but you're still mixing up the names. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now, okay? Instead of hot tea, it might be nice to relax with a little shochu. Oh, that reminds me. Have you ever heard the story about the Senju clan? Um, Which one? Long ago, the Senju clan maintained a tradition of giving honey wine as a wedding gift. Back then, the Senju clan lived in the forest. Mm. They happened to discover an unusual liquid produced from rainwater. That was the start of honey wine. Mm. It was a nourishing wine and also quite rare. Hinata would find good uses for it. <laughs> it might be the perfect gift for her. It also conveys the wish that Hinata and Naruto spend their days together living in sweetness. <laughs> that was a seriously cheesy 
joke. He not have grown if she heard that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were gonna like go out into the forest and explore for it. Yeah, I thought so too. <laughs> Kiba doesn't look, I mean, Akamara doesn't look big enough <laughs> to be able to give a ride. Yeah, I think they made, like, I don't know what it is. Because they didn't grow that much, but he, before when Kiba would ride him, he looked like a fucking horse. <laughs> Naruto's voice. You reek of dogs, you reek of bugs, and you're a real dog. And you sure are a dog. No, the, the, the Naruto is cat the is <laughs> it's coming up. In a place known as Soraku. We aren't sketchy guys. You're totally sketchy, meow. And I'm not going to tell you anything I know, meow. Okay, then I guess we got to catch this ninja cat and get the information out of it. Come on, Akamaru, let's do it. Toys, <laughs> humans. Was it fleas or something? Oh, you like magnetize them all to like a web. Thanks, This is something called dog mint. It's a kind of herb that's similar to catnip, Al. You can't resist it, King. <laughs> oh, damn it, come on! <laughs> Just like so its name is Momo, huh? Let me introduce my dog. His name's Akamaru. <laughs> she know, yeah, I have bugs. No, not at all. You've got quite a cute little ninja cat. Hey, what the hell are you talking about? Just a minute ago you called me a damn cat. Oh yeah, and my name's Tamaki. I'm Kiba, and this is my ninja dog, Akamaru. What? You're a ninja hound user? Oh wow. <laughs> Oh, you know, <laughs> it's nothing really. I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm actually one of just a handful of people on the inside track to becoming the next Hokage. Whoa, the next Hokage? That's yeah, amazing. Okay. Yeah, it is. <laughs> what about Naruto, the hero of our world? <laughs> we haven't been there in a while. It's kind of crazy. Do you remember when we were there last? The Isn't that with like Sasuke's hand. weird yeah. cat lady? <laughs> Granny cat. Mmm. <laughs> An insect user that farms the honey wine? Hmm? Intruders. Okay. I did not expect this to be where this episode was going. <laughs> First, I'll track this guy down with my nose. <laughs> Hey, do you think that girl we met is talking about us? <laughs> you got a crush on her? Come on! No, it's nothing like that. This is a crucial time if I'm gonna become Hokage. There's no time for love. You're too easy to read, Kiba. <laughs> huh? What did you say? Uh, nothing. I just said that I envy you. Oh, <laughs> really? You do? <laughs> now I'm gonna have to get even more serious if I intend on actually becoming the next Hokage. This talk's big. Maybe I've dismissed him too much because of that. <laughs> However, <laughs> I'd have to say the first step in doing that is to. Who am I to criticize anyone? I mean, once oh, she know. married, I really doubt that we're going to get much <laughs> chance to work together the way we used to. Huh? Kiba. <laughs> hey, Kiba. Where are you? The soundtrack, man. Do do. Barrel. Yellow jackets, huh? What is this jutsu? 
just get stung? All his bugs just got swept away in the honey. <laughs> this guy's got a fucking dumper on him. Poison did get me, but it's not a problem. The reason is because this small amount of poison isn't enough to kill me. This is my loss. I guess that it can't be helped. I'm proud to die by the hand of an insect user of your caliber. No. Well. Wait. I didn't come all the way in here to kill you. I want your honey wine. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what. What is happening? I don't know what kind of a life you you've been leading, where you think that anyone who enters your vicinity is out for your life. But I'm sure you must have been some real shit. I'd be very grateful. There is no road back. What do you mean by that? This bamboo grove is surrounded by something like a barrier. Once you step inside, there's no way to get back out. Why is this so weird to you? I don't know, it's just so weird. It's just world building, I guess. I don't know. I'm sorry to tell you, but this jutsu cannot be broken. What do you mean? How? Originally, this mist contained a special component that was meant to lead people astray. Haven't you noticed? This bamboo grove makes people lose their own. When the jutsu is activated, the thicker fog confuses them even more. In other words, this jutsu has no effect on someone who does not harbor doubts within themselves. Mm. Oh, so you're saying. Yeah. And Kiba's just I'm like, like fine. Yeah. I'm a badass. I'm as Mary, I really doubt that we're going to get much chance to work together the way. I have to say, it's strange seeing you two doing things together without Hinata. Mm. But I guess it's so it's sad. He doesn't know what he's gonna do now. Mm -hmm. he, he achieved his goal when he was like 12 and became the strongest of his class by far. So strong that they had to write him out of the story. Yeah. And anytime he was on screen, he instantly solves any problem that anyone has. And now he, everybody's moving on with their life and he has nowhere to go. To always be together with my friends and teammates. Mm -hmm. That was my most cherished dream. I see. It's just doubting myself. You and I are alike, you know. I still find myself feeling lost on this path called life. Do you say? There may be doubt here. I'm finally really living life now. Your friends you sure? understand too. I'm sure of it. It's okay to have doubts. It's not your fault that you have them. I think it's your fault you have your doubts, random bee man living yeah. in the forest. You don't always have to keep pushing forward. Then just stay here with us. Yes, Shino, come on. Just stay. All right, it's teammates' final mission. So let's do this, you guys. Huh. No. This isn't what I've been looking for. Not at all. What? What I'm looking for instead is... What I'm looking for is to be with my friends who keep moving forward. Whoa. Not to be with someone who keeps the same pace as me. I can't allow myself to get stuck in a place like this forever. I have to return to the village right away. The reason that I must do so is because I have to attend the wedding of a couple of very important friends. You actually believe that you can find your way out of this fog? Yes, I do. I'm definitely going to find my path in life. And I have no doubt about that at all. <laughs> The entrance. No, wait. It's the exit. You found the path beyond the guardian deity of travel, I see. Then go quickly. The deity of travels? Once again. Hold on. You told me that you're really living life now. But can you actually say that's the truth? What? If there's someone stuck in the past who can't see the future, then can it be said that they're really living? I know people who live every moment striving as hard as they can to reach their goal, even when it seems so far out of reach. People like that are the ones who are really living life. That is what I believe. I'm shocked. You are nothing like the quiet man I thought you were. Inside, you carry a great deal of passion. I feel like I'm being lectured by my teacher. Just what does that mean? Go now. Teacher. In time, perhaps I'll be more like you. Okay. It's the wasps from the Kabuto versus wasps episode. Oh, oh shit. That's what I was thinking of when it was like flying around. I like that. I hope that that's something we could possibly re return to at some point. Yeah, like in Boruto, maybe. I was lost, but I 
found my way. It's because <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Kiba drinks all the wine before they get back. Akamar, put it down for a second. Akamar. <laughs> what if he does? I bet that might happen. I don't know. A letter? How unlike you. Huh? Why? There's nothing wrong with letters. Right, Akamaru? Akamaru, not you too! I don't think you want to. I really don't. You don't know what you're getting into. <laughs> Ashido to show you his chest and how many fucking holes and shit are in it. Shido should actually be a teacher. He seems to be great with the kids. <laughs> really inspiring them to follow their dreams. Of course. If Aruka gets Seems promoted, he should take his job. Get over those difficult kids. Maybe you should become a teacher. A teacher? What you did is quite impressive. Well, in all honesty, it isn't that difficult for the reasons because I've always hung around with the kids that everyone <laughs> calls difficult. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute. That's awesome. Actually, he would be the most badass teacher. Actually, no one would want him as a teacher. Well, they would like him, but they wouldn't really want him because no one could cheat or, like, pull any kind of shit in his class because he has eyes literally yeah. everywhere. Sensory ninja as a teacher. Dangerous combo. I remember that. Yeah. Remember how you hated that fight, but it was one of the best in the whole series? That EV is so good. It is pretty good. What do you think of that episode? <laughs> this is a pretty good episode. Very... I can tell you weren't really feeling the B-Man. I, did, I, I didn't really like B-Man, but I, I liked, uh, like, we get we got into Shino's character and set, set up for him to probably become a teacher for Boruto, which actually would be super awesome if he was, like, Boruto's teacher. Mm. And then he's just like... Oh my god, <laughs> it's just Naruto. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this. Um, yeah, that, that that was nice. And then Kiba as well. I But I did like to see Shino because you're right, we've barely seen him. They basically wrote him out because he's too powerful. Uh, and he was just he was just out of town or like gone yeah. half the time. Like if he had been on the Sasuke retrieval arc, it would have just been done. He went like, on the second one. It wouldn't have been a problem. But... Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so it I, it was good to see him and interesting to give him a little bit more personality other than just everyone's always forgetting about me yeah. and stuff like that. It's it's more like he just he just like wants to be around people. Yeah. And. Uh, you know, and that's his whole his whole thing. He, but he he doesn't have any super crazy Lofty aspirations yeah. and stuff. But it's still important to he's a very humble recognize guy. the things that you want to do, even if they are small mm -hmm. compared to other people's huge dreams. Yeah, and rather than clinging to the past and everything and not willing to let go, mm -hmm. this was him. Yeah, it's all about him being able to move on because. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was he's just a very humble guy. But it's it is funny to me, like especially looking back on the couple flashbacks we got from the war arc and like looking back on Shino's character, he was, he was like top tier, even end game. Like, and he didn't uh, like grow in power level from part one. You know what I mean? Like he was just yeah. as powerful in part one as he was at the I end of Shippuden. I think they that's the thing with his ability specifically. So when you take someone um, like whatever, like anyone, like, like if you take Kiba, Kiba was like decent at the beginning, but he gradually enhanced this. He like took the same things that he had had in the beginning and like changed it. So his fang over fang got better. He was able to do like different stuff with Akamaru like throughout the series. Or like a better example would be Shikamaru who he, he had like his, because we see Shikamaru more, we get to see more of the stages of yeah. that. But with Shino, because his thing but like, he was just innately like tied to these bugs. Mm -hmm. It wasn't something like he probably obviously did work on it in different ways, but it wasn't the same progression as everyone else. Yeah. Um, because it was so much a part of him. Like he literally has bugs inside of him. Um, so I think 
And I think that's another reason why he's like, yeah, mainly just been the same, just like improving, I guess, or like- Not, no. Well, we don't know that. We haven't seen him really do much. We've we've seen him do enough that like he's he doesn't have like oh new jutsu. The only thing we saw was like the bug summoning, but he there's no telling if he learned that later or if he just had that <laughs> always. All of his stuff is the same shit that we saw in I part one. I guess I'm one. saying it might have just gotten more powerful as he got older. Um, like he there's no real way to tell. Yeah. There's no real way to tell. Like maybe, but it's it seems to me like based on the shit that we saw early on. He just was that strong. It's, his ability's not the kind of thing that you can like get better at, really. Like, if you already have a perfect, perfect like control over your insects and over insects in general, and they're they're like chakra eating insects, then like what else? If you can control them to the point where you're making like balloon yeah. animals out of them early on or whatever the fuck, maybe I don't know. It's just it's just cool, and it's a shame that we never saw more of him. But it does make sense, is all I was saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But was this was the wasp guy? Was he, was he the deity of travels? Is he like he must he must no have been like a spirit of the of that forest or something? I bet he must have been like yeah I don't know. They didn't go into they they established like that whole legend with the Senju clan, but maybe that's what it was. Maybe this like little bit of forest had like a spirit <laughs> there that made this wine, and that's why the Senju liked it. Yeah. Um. Hope you guys leave a like and subscribe. Hope you check out the next one. Uh, we'll see you then. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. Bye-bye.